Hi everybody, this is Amy Haben with your weekly horoscopes. So as most of you know, uh, Wednesday is the Capricorn full moon. This is a super moon, which means it's the closest to the earth for any full moon, at least so far this year. And so it's gonna be the brightest. So you should really go out on Wednesday night and check out this full moon. I'm gonna start off today by talking about how this Capricorn full moon on Wednesday is going to affect your rising sign because there's a lot of intensity that comes with it um, and emotions. And then I'll go into the regular horoscopes. So starting with Aries rising on Wednesday, you're gonna feel a bit of career intensity Pisces rising is going to feel friendship intensities. Libra rising is going to feel intensities within the family. Scorpio risings are going to feel intensity around their routine. Gemini risings are going to feel intense intensity around money. Leo risings are going to feel intensity around coworkers and or health. Taurus Risings are going to feel intensity around uh, travel and education. Virgo Risings are going to feel dating intensity. Aquarius Risings are going to feel uh, mental health and addiction uh, intensities. Sagittarius Rising is going to feel intensity around money. Capricorn is going to feel uh, intensity around their appearance. And Cancer Risings are going to feel a uh, relationship and other contracts um, in a more intense way. So the trick is just like meditate, breathe, think happy thoughts because it is going to be, might be a little rocky. A lot of us might get a little emotional or get a little, people might get angry at each other. So like something to think about. All right. And now into our regular signs for the week. Aries. Uh, it will be very social for you on Wednesday. Venus is in Gemini in your communication house and it trines Saturn in your house of community. So it's a good night to go see a band play or like go to the park and like maybe meet new people, like go socialize with your friends' friends. Taurus, uh, you are finally coming to an agreement with a family member, something that's been bothering you this week um, and your house of spending joins your house of career this week having you make a more uh, a productive purchase for work so maybe a new computer or you know basically just taking some of your money and investing into your career or your business Gemini um, Cash is coming in early in the week. Maybe it's like some surprise cash. Uh, because Cancer in your money house is sextiling uh, Uranus in... I don't even know my own writing. <laughs> but cr cash is coming in. It's made an unexpected check or like someone just decides to tip you really big. If you're like a service worker. And Wednesday's full moon... Um, will be trying with will be uh showing you as uh, an intelligent star so like basically you are going to be like the king or queen of pop quizzes on wednesday on to cancer Sorry, my cat's in the background I'm being crazy. Cancer, this is um, a big investing week. So you are being smart with those uh, extra birthday dollars and investing into some sort of, um, you know, app or like, you know, putting money in the stock market or just like opening a savings account and it's going to pay off for you. Leo, um, Fame is your middle name this week. 
a lot of Leos maybe have a viral post that's blowing up on social media. There's something that gets them like recognized a little bit. So that's something to look forward to. Um, the Wednesday full moon in Capricorn combines with a trine in your relationship sector. And this is gonna have Leos taking their relationship to the next level. Virgo, this week is all about travel with friends. I like, even if you don't have travel plans, I suggest you going on a mini vacation, um, preferably to somewhere relax, you know, relaxing. Uh, Wednesday is a very lucky in work. So whether you're looking for a new job or you're just looking for a promotion, like Wednesday on this week is your time, Virgo. Libra, uh, get ready for a very sexy Wednesday. Um, you're gonna be getting more intimate with either your person or you're gonna meet a new person and it, sparks are gonna fly. Also, uh, this week, people want to help you with whatever you do creatively for your, whatever you do, maybe it's you make artwork or you, whatever your like side hustle is, your friends really want to help you by buying your art. So either like maybe make a page or start a website for what it is that you do that shows your creativity and even maybe make a GoFundMe page because people are really going to try to want to invest in you this week. Scorpio. It's all centered around finances and learning this week. So maybe take a new class um, and start, a, you know, again, invest, start a savings account. You know, that's basically all that's going on for you. It's not a very sexy week. Sagittarius. Sagittarius's are being hoes this week, seriously. Um, you may start a flame with a coworker, maybe someone that works for the same company, but that doesn't work on your floor. Uh, either way, it's giving you an ego boost, but it may even turn into a long-term relationship, actually. Later in the week, you'll be connecting with an old friend and receive some talk therapy from having some, uh, talking about old times. Capricorn, you may be meeting someone that you can connect with on a deeper level. If you're partnered, it could have you um, wanting out. So you might meet someone new that could be having you question your relationship. You are most productive at your job when the person that you have to work closest with calls out sick. So try just like doing more brainstorming when you are solo, maybe after work. Um, because you get really distracted by this, whoever works closest to you at your job and they're not doing you any favors and you're realizing this. Aquarius, um, this is a good, like very lucky week for Aquarians. Uh, a new job could be starting this week or you could be getting a pay raise. Um, also you are very, very attractive to others this week, Aquarius someone's gonna hit on you whether you're partnered or single just someone's going to open up and flirt and kind of let their interests be known so watch out for that pisces something intimate is happening in your connection maybe you're deciding to be more open um or more talkative or playful in the bedroom but your current person you're dating and you are going through finally feeling comfortable enough to take things to the next level. Also, family ties will be on your mind Wednesday on. So you may, you're going to be like really vibing with someone in your family that you haven't before. Um, maybe a cousin or, you know, an aunt or something. You're going to like have a really refreshing time hanging out with someone from your family. So that's Pisces. And that's it. That's my 12 signs. I hope everyone has a lovely week. And, um, you know, on full moons, it's really good to write down everything that you want to release. So do that, right? Everything down you want to let go of. Some people write them on bay leaves and they burn them after, safely burn them. Um, you can do that. Or you can just, even just writing, it, writing things down that you want to let go of. 
is really, really good. And I suggest all of you who have addiction problems try to let go of whether it be the alcohol or the cigarettes. Just, you know, it's all about health. Life is easier when you're healthy. So um, be well. Have a great week.